The Evolution of Cooperation by Robert Axelrod is a seminal work that delves into the intricate dynamics of cooperation within competitive settings, exploring the evolution of cooperative strategies through game theory and empirical studies. Axelrod's work challenges the prevalent notion that self-interested behavior is the most rational approach in situations characterized by competition. Instead, he introduces the concept that cooperation can emerge and persist, even when faced with the incentives for defection. Axelrod's analysis is primarily built upon the famous iterated prisoner's dilemma, a model that captures the essence of social interactions involving cooperation and betrayal. In this scenario, individuals must decide whether to cooperate or defect, knowing that their decisions will impact both the immediate interaction and potential future interactions. Axelrod introduces computer tournaments in which various strategies compete against each other in repeated prisoners' dilemma games. This approach allows strategies to evolve and adapt over time, mimicking real-world dynamics. One of the central findings in Axelrod's work is the success of the tit-for-tat strategy. This simple and intuitive strategy begins with cooperation and then mirrors the opponent's last move in subsequent rounds. Tit-for-tat proves highly effective due to its balance between cooperation and retaliation, discouraging exploitative behavior while remaining forgiving enough to re-establish cooperation after a single defection. Axelrod highlights the strategy's robustness, clarity, and non-exploitativeness as reasons for its success. Furthermore, Axelrod identifies several key conditions that foster the evolution of cooperation. One such condition is repeatability, where individuals engage in multiple interactions over time. This repetition allows strategies to accumulate reputation and encourages cooperation as a means of maintaining a positive image. Axelrod also underscores the significance of information accessibility, emphasizing that strategies reliant on immediate feedback outperform those with delayed or incomplete information. Another condition is the ability to recognize and react to the strategies employed by others. This adaptability is essential for optimizing outcomes in evolving environments. Axelrod's work extends beyond game theory to real-world applications. He draws parallels between his findings and various societal phenomena, such as international relations and ecological interactions. By illustrating how cooperation can emerge and stabilize even in competitive settings, Axelrod offers insights into conflict resolution and diplomatic negotiations. His analysis has implications for understanding the dynamics of alliances, negotiations, and reciprocal cooperation among nations. Furthermore, Axelrod's work sheds light on the role of cultural evolution in cooperation. He introduces the concept of win-stay, lose-shift, a strategy that emerges when individuals imitate the successful actions of others. This mimetic behavior allows successful strategies to spread within a population, influencing the cultural landscape and promoting cooperation as a socially desirable norm. In conclusion, the evolution of cooperation presents a comprehensive exploration of the intricate interplay between cooperation and competition. Through game theory experiments and real-world applications, Axelrod highlights the viability of cooperative strategies in scenarios where self-interest seems dominant. His analysis of the iterated prisoner's dilemma, the success of tit-for-tat, and the conditions conducive to cooperation collectively contribute to a deeper understanding of how cooperation can evolve and persist. Moreover, Axelrod's work extends its relevance beyond academia, offering insights into diverse fields such as international relations and cultural evolution. By challenging conventional wisdom and offering a nuanced perspective on cooperation, 
Axelrod's work remains a foundational piece in the study of human behavior and societal dynamics.